to match the higher intelligence of the new Commodore 128, an Apple IIc would have to add two extra ports, two more voices, four instruments, a keypad, block graphics, and much more. Now, which do you think is the smarter Christmas present? The new Commodore 128, a higher intelligence and a lower price. You better be good. You better look straight. Cause you really want that 128 Commodore New 128. You use it for your homework. You use it to get dates. For English, math, and science class. And it's fun to hack around. Tell your folks you need a higher intelligence at a lower price. Commodore New 128. The SAT test. It can determine whether a kid gets into a good college or not, which is reason enough to own a Commodore computer. Because one recent study showed preparing for the SAT on a computer can really help improve scores. Okay, stop. How'd you do? <laughs> not bad, not bad. Really, wait, there wait, are wait, thousands wait. of reasons why more families own a Commodore personal computer. Better SAT scores is just one of them. The Commodore 64 or the Commodore 128. You want to grow up? I'm a Toys R Us kid. You just said the magic words, I look what you did. And look how shopping at Toys R Us computes into big savings. The world's best-selling computer, the new Commodore 64C, comes with GI software, 1541 disk drive, a smart buy two. Swell! For a higher intelligence, the powerful Commodore 128 with number keypad and more. Also speedy 1571 disk drive. Computing costs less at Toys R Us. The company which put more personal computers into more homes than anyone else is Commodore. Located not in the Silicon Valley, but here in Westchester, Pennsylvania, outside Philadelphia, where the money was, says Jack Trammell. But Trammell is gone now, not only gone, but heading up the forces of competitor Atari. And with personal computer sales leveling off, the pressure is on Commodore to come up with something new. Trying to anticipate what the consumers will need next year, they've come up with a product like the 128, which has twice the capacity and the features that the uh, 64 has, although totally compatible, uh, and yet has the flexibility of dealing with more productivity type of, of applications. Commodore's newest computer is a machine of many faces, operating in three different modes. It offers 128K of memory, but is compatible with the old 64. It can jump between an 80-column and 40-column screen, and in its top mode, it'll run CPM. With the 128's expandable memory, numeric keypad, and extended BASIC, Commodore seems to be aiming for a new segment of the market. Today, the product, quite honestly, is equal to the Apple IIc. It has all the features and functions that the Apple IIc has, and because of our high-volume mass production capabilities, we're able to uh, afford a reasonable margin that the Apple product affords, and yet offer the consumer half the price point. If Commodore is able to lure away potential Apple buyers, it will mark a new kind of push into the already shaky PC market.
Carry out your orders. Go at once! Oh, <laughs> 